All right, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Big Rich, Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Mob story time. Now, I know it's been a while since we've done a mob story. I've been busy. There hasn't been any new mob stories that have come out. I have some lined up, but they aren't attention grabbers, and they aren't the biggest stories in the world, but they will be put up. Nevertheless, it's business, and we conduct it. I hope everybody's been well. You know the rules. Wipe your feet at the door. Throw some smoke in the atmosphere. Coming to you from a beautiful day in Queens, New York City, where we get busy. Time for some mob stories. Salute to Joe O for sending me the heads up on this story. Let's get right into it. Alleged Montreal Mafia leader Leonardo Rizzuto wounded in Laval shooting. The son of Vito Rizzuto was shot while in a vehicle on Highway 440. And then this happened last week. Leonardo Rizzuto, who was alleged to be one of the leaders of the Montreal Mafia following a major drug trafficking investigation years ago, was injured in a shooting in Laval last Wednesday afternoon. A police source confirmed to the Montreal Gazette that Rizzuto, 53, was injured in the shooting. At 4.40 p.m., a vehicle was fired upon Highway 440 near Highway 13 in Laval. One person was injured. We don't fear for his life. As of 8.30 p.m. on last Wednesday, police were still investigating the damage to the car. A Mercedes GLE 53, nice. It was parked in front of a funeral home at the corner of the Highway 13 service road and Rui Principal. It had been struck by at least six bullets and its tires were damaged as well. So they got off six shots. So they weren't trying to warn him, they were trying to kill him. It appeared Rizzuto managed to drive the bullet-ridden car along the Highway 13 southbound service road and came to a stop at the funeral home. Which is kind of scary, right? That's where you come to a stop at a funeral home like, yo, I'm about to die. Let me just, you know, check in. Which is two kilometers away from Highway 440. Rizzuto is the youngest son of Vito Rizzuto, who controlled the Montreal Mafia for decades, beginning in the early 1980s, along with his father, Niccolo. After years of dominating the mob in Montreal, the Rizzuto organization was significantly weakened by two events in 2006. Vito Rizzuto was extradited to the U.S. to face racketeering charges that involved the murders of three capos who were part of a mafia organization based in New York. The same year, six men who were assigned to control the Rizzuto organization in Vito Rizzuto's absence were arrested in a major investigation dubbed Project Khaleesi. Now, for my Canadians, if I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry. Six men included Niccolo Ziocola Rizzuto, Vito's father, as well as Paolo Renda, Vito's brother-in-law. The six men included Niccolo Ziocola Rizzuto and Vito's father, as well as Paolo Renda, Vito's brother-in-law. Three years later, after the Project Khaleesi roundup, the unthinkable happened. Leonardo Rizzuto's older brother, Nick the Ritz Rizzuto, was killed in Notre Dame. The following year, on May 20, 2010, Renda, Leonardo Rizzuto's uncle, was abducted while he was out out on parole from the sentence he received from Project Khaleesi. Renda was pulled over by men who appeared to be posing as law enforcement officials and was placed in another vehicle and has not been seen since. Then, on November 10th of 2010, Vito Rizzuto's father was killed inside his home in northern Montreal where he was felled by a sniper's bullet. The slaying was believed to be the first serious challenge to the Rizzuto's organization's authority over the Montreal Mafia. Of course, Vito Rizzuto died of cancer on December 23rd, 2013, and according to evidence that came out later in court, he planned who would succeed him at the helm of the Montreal Mafia following his death. Part of that plan included having his son, Leonardo, lead the group along with Stefano Solicito, the son of Rocco Solicito, another leader in the Rizzuto organization, also arrested in Project Alisi, who was later killed in Laval on May 27, 2016. In November of 2015, Leonardo Rizzuto and Stefano Solicito were arrested in another project, an investigation that revealed the Hells Angels and the Montreal Mafia were working together to control drug trafficking in Montreal. When the arrests were made, they described Rizzuto and Solicito as the heads of the Montreal Mafia. So, very interesting. They came and they took shots. Six shots. Those aren't warning shots. Six shots. They're trying to go for the kill. Salute to all my Canadian listeners that listen to Mom Stories. Salute to Joe O for getting me the story. Appreciate that, Joe. Mom Story Season 3, Big Rich, Queens, New York City. Let me know what you're smoking on me. Still on that sour diesel, a.k.a. sunshine for the soul. Let me know what you're smoking on. Let me know what city you're smoking in. Big Rich, Queens, 
very business-like. Salute.